All right, so we've got a new post rich chatter action here that uh, leverages the rich text formatting that chatter supports. And there are essentially three things you could pass it. You can pass it the, the, the body message yourself. You can pass it the target, target, and an optional ID, which you don't usually have to bother with at all. Target name or ID can be the ID of a record, a group, or a user. It can also be a group name or a username. Uh, so a number of choices there. Now the body, in this case, I'm passing in a flow text template. If we go take a look at that, you can see that I've, I've turned on just about every bit of formatting that uh, flow uh, makes available here. Uh, I've got some links. Notice that this is a sort of inline link where you don't see the URL. Notice that this image is visible. Now, not all of this is supported in Chatter, and not all of it is uh, fully transformed by this action. So one of the things that you need to be aware of is what works and what doesn't work. So this is a flow text template. And now let's run this. And now let's go look at the user. Let's refresh this because I targeted this particular username. And you can see that the chatter has come in and you've got some things working. You've got bold here. So bold, italics, and underline work well. Uh, list items are supported in chatter. Uh, indented items are not supported in chatter. Uh, and also the color and the font size and the font name are not supported in chatter. So those get stripped out. Uh, and now the link, uh, you'll notice that the link has sort of been transformed. The URL is there. You can click on it. The original text is there, but we don't have it in situ. There's probably a way to do that, uh, but I um, wasn't able to puzzle that out in the you know, sort of um, unique way that Chatter uh, formats things. And uh, then the image, same kind of deal here. There's probably a way to make that inline image show up but for this at least for this first version uh, it's presented here and you can click on it to see your items so um, some additional tools that you can use to make your chatter messages more effective and now let me show you something really cool that we can do here let's go create a new uh, String and we'll call this uh, uh, we'll call this cur group and let's set the value to this group ID. So we've got the ID of a group. Okay. So now what we can do here is we can go to the template. and we can insert that variable. Now, this is all going to get replaced with that ID. There is a syntax that this action supports. So if you put the ID inside of braces, then it will turn into an app mention. So if we run this again, you can see that group one has been app mentioned. So you can now easily take a user, uh, a user ID uh, or a group ID and uh, you can generate a uh, app mention for them.